four DCA Corps that performed here in Allentown this weekend received rousing ovations from the crowd. There's a lot riding on this new partnership, but it has the potential to be a big win-win for the entire drum corps activity in these changing times. What are your hopes for this relationship with DCI? What, what would you love to see come out of it? Well, I love to see growth growth for more um, younger people to participate in the activity of drum corps, for more drum corps to participate in the all-age division. Dan, what does DCI bring to this DCA-DCI partnership? Well, what we've always brought to the activity, we create the stage, right? And this is an opportunity for us to share our stage with the all age cores. But really what it comes down to with this collaboration is the opportunity for growth to bring us together and to create an alternative uh, for the drum corps experience for young people that want to participate, say in drum corps, uh, not as heavy as touring and so forth. Back in the day, the senior core circuit was DCA, and the average age was probably 50, 55 back then. Now the average age for a DCA core is somewhere around 18, 17, much younger, Steve. It's given a lot of young people an opportunity to uh, participate in Drum of Eagle Corps as well. What are going to be uh, some of the biggest adjustments for the DCA cores? Well, the biggest one is going to be that championships are going to be held in Indianapolis about three weeks earlier than what they're used to. So I think the front end of the seasons, you know, how the cores recruit when they start their camps, all of that is going to have to be a, a significant change in the culture and the way that they've run their drum cores. Well, I got you right here. Let's talk about this Labor Day weekend, the last big championship in Rochester. What's in store? Well, we have a lot of exciting things in store. Um, Friday night, we have our I&E competition. We have our mini core competition. And this year, DCA is going to pay tribute to Chuck Mangione. He's going to be present there. We're going to say thank you to Chuck Mangione for all the music that he's given drum corps throughout the what, past five decades, is, right? right. <laughs> And then obviously we have our pre prelims on Saturday, the 2nd of September, and our finals the 3rd Sunday night in uh, Rochester, New York. And the Alumni Corps is in there. Uh, the Alumni Corps is in there as well, absolutely. That's 10 o'clock in the morning on Sunday. It'll be a big party and a farewell Rochester. Absolutely. But, you know, looking forward to the next chapter of all-age, weekend-only drum corps.